Hi everyone, I'm Adriana, and today we'll be reading Carl and the Meaning of Life by Deborah Friedman. Enjoy. Carl and the Meaning of Life Carl was not a bird. Carl was not a bear or a beaver. Carl was an earthworm. He lived underground, always moving, burrowing, tunneling, digesting dead leaves, feasting and casting, turning hard dirt into fluffy soil day after day. Why? asked a field mouse gathering seeds. Why do you do that? Why? Carl did not know why, but now he needed to find out. So Carl stopped making fluffy soil. I'll be right back, he told the field mouse. He spotted a rabbit. Maybe she knew. Why do I do what I do, he asked her. Oh, goodness dear, she said. I do not know. I do what I do for my babies. But Carl did not have babies. A fox appeared. Carl turned to the fox. Why do I do what I do? Asked Carl. Who do I do it for? For whom? Replied the fox. Alas, my meal awaits. I am here for the hunt. But Carl did not want to hunt. Why are you talking to a fox? cried a squirrel. Carl was startled. Because the field mouse is waiting and wants to know what I am here for. The squirrel declared, I'm here to plant trees. Trees are where I sleep. But Carl could not sleep not high in a tree, and not without an answer for the mouse. He pushed on. And on. Hours turned into days until the soil was no longer fluffy. The ground around Carl turned barren and dry while he continued to search. Sigh. But the birds had flown off to find grasses and fluff. The bear trundled away to look for berries. Soon there was nobody left to talk to. What about me? called Carl. Clouds were silent. So was the air. I will never find out, he sniffled. Then Carl heard his sniffle echo, followed by a squeak. I can't find any grubs, a voice cried. 
It was the saddest ground beetle he had ever seen. Carl peeked under a stone. No grubs. Then he poked at the dirt. It was hard, like a rock. Where was his fluffy soil? Suddenly, Carl knew what he needed to do. I'll be back, he promised. For hours into days, weeks into months, Carl munched, digested, left casings, and tunneled and turned that hard dirt back into rich soil. You made my seeds grow, said the mouse. Clover blossomed once again, and the rabbit came back with her kits. The squirrel returned to plant new trees. The fox was lured by the hunt, all of them able to do what they do. How? Well, why not ask Carl?